Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Prunus, model number J777. This is a compact AM FM portable radio. I bought this radio off Amazon for a total of $14.99, and here it is. I love my micro compact radios, and pretty excited about this one. So let's go ahead and I'll lower this down a little bit, show you the box, and we'll look at the radio. Okay, real quick, Prunus J777. That reminds me of Texan 777. Uh, if you remember that radio, pretty cool radio that you can't get anymore. Uh, easy to carry, portable transistor radio. There is the radio in the blister pack. What does that say? The radio uses two AAA batteries, AM FM with earphones. Hey, bonus. On the back here, we have a let's see, model number, uh, user manual included, though I didn't look at it. <laughs> Ideal size for travel and walking. You can listen with earphones. Easy to listen, 40 millimeter speaker. Uh, easy to pull in stations. All right, Oop, let me get this up to the camera here. Some frequency ranges, there you go. Your AM is 520 to 1710, FM 88 to 108. Uh, let's see, there's your headphones. Two AAA batteries, your dimensions in millimeters, and your weight without battery, 64 grams. Jinming Technology. Email them at Prunus. There you go. Serial number. This thing has a serial number. That's sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. See, I kind of like a flip out. This reminds me, this packaging, of a uh, Sony radio. Sony's like to do this from Japan. So kind of neat that they went that route. So this slides out here. And it reveals a pair of headphones. Uh, this is a pretty inexpensive radio, so don't expect much with the headphones. I don't usually use the ones without rubber coating or any kind of caps, but these would work in a pinch if you needed something and you had nothing. There you go. There's the little holder for the headphones, the radio, and then that's the top of the package. Let's see if we can find the manual. That's always fun. Okay, I'm thinking it's inside this. There we go. Good guess. All right, so Prunus, um, pretty simple to use. Okay, guys, it's a two-band radio. Uh, it has a band select switch. It's about pretty much all you need to know. Um, I don't think you really... Yeah, this is as basic as you can get. And I'm going to cover everything, of course. Let's just show you. They went through the trouble of printing up a nice manual. So, human body induction. That's good to know. Some people don't know about that. And after sale service, if the radio fails, please send your message to our customer service. There you go. All right. Let's go to the radio. Here it is. I'm going to zoom it back down. These little micro radios. Go over dimensions. Okay. So we have two and a quarter inches across, three and five eighths of an inch tall, and we have a thickness of seven eighths of an inch. You know, holding this reminds me of a soap bar, but I like that. Nice curved corners. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I really like that. Really cool setup. Um, yeah, another thing we'll get to, uh, the audio, rockin'. <laughs> it surprised me. I turned this thing on, it's like, boom, wait a minute, what? <laughs> it's got good audio. This audio rocks. You don't expect much from a small AAA-powered radio. Size comparison, CC pocket. There you go. Yeah, giving you an idea. Definitely smaller than a CC pocket. Awesome. Uh, let's see, we always have the CC Skywave in the house. Uh, we'll use it as a frequency, frequency checker if we need it tonight. Um, I'm going to do a little AM band scan towards the end of the video like I usually do with all my reviews. We'll see if it can pick up much. Uh, during the day, it's it's pretty average on AM. Uh, and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. And of course, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves prunuses when he can get his hands on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't rhyme. But you know what? Sometimes you don't have to for poetry, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, there you go. Fits inside of the deck of cards. That is pretty cool. Okay. So let's talk about features of the Prunus J777. I like that model number. Right away, the overall look is cool. Um, I think it's only available in white at this time. And I'll link down below for you guys. Um, it's about, uh, did I say $14.99? I think I did. Um, it's it, for the price, uh, right away. I'm giving final thoughts in a way, but, uh, yeah, it's worth the price. 
Um, so let's go ahead and look at the sides here. Nice smooth plastic. Like I said, it's rounded corners, which I really like. You guys can see that there. Front, we have a nice clear dial, um, FM. Well, actually, up on top there, it says POW. POW! <laughs> I love it. Short for power, I hope. Um, it's a little red LED. It should, we turn the radio on, that stays on. I like that. Good feature. Uh, your FM scale, your AM scale, and you have a log scale there. Uh, interesting thing is... Um, it's got a little indicator, and it's fairly visible um, without these bright lights hitting it, but uh, there you go. A little orange indicator there. Prunus, our speaker, 40 millimeters, or an inch and a half. And yeah, that speaker sounds really good, by the way. And a cool textured front. Um, definitely neat. I love that golf ball look and how they extend it past the speaker. It's really a really nice touch. You know, I'm not holding it. It feels like a quality. Uh, on the right-hand side, we have a tuning wheel. We have our off switch with our FM and AM select. Um, uh, let's see, oh yeah, I didn't go to the top. The top of the radio, we have the antenna, which extends out to a whopping, doo -doo 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 -doo, fits on camera, uh, eight inches. Um, it actually does fairly well on FM. You're gonna get that FM reception report in a second. Headphone jack, okay, so I like to go over the headphone jack. Number one, when you plug a headphone jack, or your, sorry, your headphones into the headphone jack, they instantly become the antenna. So you can lower the antenna and put this in your pocket. Yay, good thinking. <laughs> I'm glad to see, I mean, I've seen a lot of cheap, inexpensive radios where they don't do that. we still got to extend the antenna. It defeats the purpose. But you hook up your headphone jack and, <clears throat> excuse me, headphones to the headphone jack, and boom, your antenna is your headphones, and it's probably better than the included antenna. I didn't test that for my FM reception report, just because a lot of people like to use the speaker, and I use the whip antenna here. But you might improve your results by using the headphone jack. Also, the headphone jack is minimal uh, low-level hiss, which I was very impressed with. Uh, no hiss to really annoy you. That's great. Um, it's not stereo. It's just FM mono, but both ears, which is good. So listening on FM, it has strong mids, which I was pretty impressed with. Nice highs uh, and mild lows. I'm a fan of mild lows. I don't like a lot of heavy bass. On AM band, it has a lower tone, which is nice for news and talk programming. Uh, for the AM band, I do like that also. Uh, so there's your headphone experience. And of course, then we have a volume control there on top. Pretty basic. And on the back, a couple screws. And it says Prunus. It has our information there. And then we open up the battery compartment. It holds our two AAA batteries. And you can see them there. The top battery, the positive is to the left. And the bottom battery, the positive is to the right. There you are. QC passed. That's a good thing. Oh, and the door's captured. There's a sign that they just take into heart some quality measures. I like that. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. Um, I do this on a five-star or five-tier method. Start a fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. Most of you guys know that, but for new viewers who don't know that, I always like to mention, uh, most radios, um, analog radios, I don't know if I have one handy. Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. Here's an analog radio, old, old boxy. <laughs> um, analog radios typically, not, this is an AM radio, though, but on FM, um, they usually get about 48 stations, and it falls between the okay to good category. Uh, anything higher, good, very good, excellent, tend to be DSP radios, digital signal processing radios, uh, ones that have nice digital circuits, big antennas, uh, those get to the higher values. Now, surprisingly, this did better than average, which is usually okay to good. This one got a good rating. This found 65 stations, yes, 65 stations on this little 8-inch antenna. Um, very impressed with that. So sensitivity is very good. You do have to take your time the small radio like this, the tuning is very sensitive. The DSP um, is very finicky, so you have to kind of take your time, go through the band. You have to go back a few times. You might pass the station up just because of the way it's step step tunes. You'll you'll hear it when I tune the AM band. It tends to go in and out quite a bit, um, but you have to just take your time and uh, catch those signals, and it works. Uh, loving that. So then, so FM sensitivity gets a good, and FM selectivity gets a good. So a solid three star rating for a fifteen dollar radio. That's an amazing deal. So let's go ahead, we'll turn it on. We'll see if we can find Radio Totterbert. Now Radio Totterbert is something I like to do, um, give you a little general idea what the speaker is gonna sound like. I use an FM transmitter set at 92.9 .9 megahertz, hooked up to a little MP3 player, uh, broadcasting YouTube royalty-free music to the radio. And if you compare my radio to my other videos with other radios doing the same thing, you can kind of hear a difference in the tone of the speaker. So we'll go ahead and go to FM. See where we at, there we go. And we'll see if we can't tune it in. Oh, 
Run this for a few minutes. basic idea had a little bit of feedback um yeah sometimes when you have a transmitter in such close proximity to the radio you get a little bit of feedback but not too bad sounds really good on the speaker hopefully you got a good representation of that so let's go ahead i'm going to turn off these items make sure they're off for the am band scan okay so i'm going to bring this up just a little bit all right so we're going to switch we're going to go down the bottom of the band here we're going to change to the am band so we're going to flip that up can see that we're on the AM band now. I'll turn it up. Now during the day, the AM band was good on locals and good for semi-locals. They came in booming really nice, easy to get to stations. Um, if you were trying to find some fainter stations, it was difficult. Uh, I had a heck of a time. Um, it's The circuit's interesting. Daytime, it's probably a better listener. Nighttime, the, if the signals are strong, it does very well. If the signals are weak, in and out, you'll have a difficult time. Like I tried to find Zoomer Radio, and if Zoomer Radio is not booming in, you're going to have a heck of a time getting it. So let's go ahead and tune away here. Start at the bottom of the band. Let's kind of cruise it up pretty quick here and see what we can find. I say quick, but sometimes I, I like to have fun and investigate. Hello? As a matter of fact, we 
talk to Bob Bolsby, Big 12 commissioner, about when we asked him if football gets pushed back. So there isn't football when he joined us last week. This is 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I got my little cheat sheet over to my right here. As you can hear, it kind of comes in and out. You have to play with the tuner a bit to get it uh, stable. Yay. American Center for Law and Justice. Okay, this is uh, 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. So this is 590. This is usually KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska in the evening. Uh, this is 405 miles, 5,000 watts. Not bad at all. Now the time, I forgot to mention, it's 9.49 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. There we go. As you can hear, with the DSP, if the signal is dropping a little bit, it kind of cuts out. So something to get used to in the evening. You'll like this radio more during the day on the medium wave band or AM band. So this is uh, 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles away. Nothing spectacular. Sergeant David Smith from Clarksville, Tennessee. And hi to Kylie Clark from Livermore, California. Just graduated with her master's in education and came to celebrate Nashville style with Kelsey Ballerini and Luke Combs. She says it here's 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Now you have your masters, you're a self-respecting member of the education community. Look, look, all year, you look back on the season, and I don't know how many times they played good teams. And won. Here we go, 670 to score, to WSCR, Chicago. Again, local stations are going to be the ones you're listening to mainly. Hendricks going in the next three games. They can't win three in a row again. And all... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad you cleared that up because many, many people have the impression that it doesn't matter where you are in Canada. The only thing that... Okay, so these uh, said 680 um, uh, Canada, so I'm guessing it's CFTR, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Though. So it's getting better in this location. So I'm wondering if it's a different station. If it is, I'll put it here, but I don't think it is. And it might be because see, Toronto is this way, and my Skywave gets better in that direction. And the north, uh, north east, north northeast. Yeah. Okay. Northwest. We know that dreaming or REM sleep is very important for the consolidation of memory. What I mean by that is that um, if you learn something and you want to store it in your brain long term, sleep and rapid eye movement sleep play an important part. Here's 720 WGN Chicago. It kind of missed 700. I'm going to see if I can backtrack and get 700. 
Professor of Pulmonary Medicine over MLB, over almost anything but Call of Duty. Uh, and and, and uh, it's just like... Okay, so 700. Here's W. Um, LW's in Sandy, Ohio, 300 miles. You can hear uh, cuts in and out. You can uh, put a loop here. Turk. See if it helps that uh, bouncing signal. So there you go. This will help you stabilize your signal. And Bob Surratt is on from 720 until 9 a.m. Across the meadows of my heart. There you go, coming in good there. I was talking about Zoomer Radio. This is CFZM 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always a treat. And the speaker sounds really good. Okay, so I think, uh, let's see, it was 760. For more information. There you go, WGR, Detroit, Michigan. This is about 270 miles away. Association of Broadcasters, and this state doesn't have to die. For more than 60 years, Project... Here's 780 WBBM, Chicago, Illinois. Medicines and supplies, giving newborns a healthy start, making sure her first day of life... Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, we're going to hear that those two words quite a bit. Um, so <clears throat> 810 um, is typically WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. This little radio can do it. I'm um, pretty impressed. Become America's newest health epidemic. So no pills? Vicky, you're doing great. So let's try these anti-inflammatories plus your physical therapy. If the soreness doesn't continue to get better, give me a call. For opioids, the smaller the dose prescribed and taken, the. 8:30 uh, WCCO Minneapolis Minnesota 310 miles. Okay, good. So it's the first time I've uh, done a good thorough band scan of the evening medium wave band on this radio, uh, and it's fairly impressive. Video or text messages <laughs> on a dating site you can imagine what's being transferred. <laughs> Yes. Um, okay, back to the radio. 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles away. Coast to coast in the evenings. Always a rocking thing. Yeah. A little bit of a fingerprint magnet on that dial. Okay, let's rock. I'm Daria Aldinger. California Governor Gavin Newsom says before he'll even think about lifting... Okay, there might be a hint of KOA Denver there. Oh, that's 870. Wow. Okay, so this is 870, which uh surprised to pick up. Um, kind of passed over a few other stations, but this is WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. You can hear it bouncing in and out. Let's see if we can get 860. There we go. Bring the loop in, see if it stabilizes. So 
loop will do the trick to keep it from coming popping in and out in the signal. All right. I have that loop off on the side there. Okay, let's keep going. Workers will walk off the job tomorrow. Protest what they say are for a once popular retail chain. J.C. Penney, which began business in 1902, says the COVID-19 crisis has upended its turnaround plans. Okay, so this is 880 WCBS, I believe, uh, New York City. J.C. Plowing would not necessarily mean the company would shut down. Well, it's barely coming in on this radio. Um, they would drastically restructure, and a significant number of J.C. Penney... Précision de la vice-première ministre... Chicago fast food workers will walk off the job on... Okay, here's 890 WLS, Chicago, Illinois. ...during the coronavirus pandemic. John C. WLS AMA... Alright, I'm just gonna kind of cruise the bank kind of quick now. Get the idea. Are you Not yet. But he's gonna be hanging out with Zach Efron and all the uh, high school musical people. His hair looks like he's 25. Oh, and a take. So this is not meant to be an argument. This is not Stugatz arguing with. So we'll have their work cut out for them. But in the end, it's all about the students. Everybody understands what students most. Transit agency is to use the money to replace lost sales tax and fare box revenue. Also for the purchase of cleaning. Because of marks and rashes, now there's inspired. Predicts a rebound of 5.8% growth in 2021. And coronavirus in Asia. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is, this never ends. Stop the insanity. always with Talk Radio 1210 WPT and the Radio.com app. Life insurance. It can be complicated. Okay, so that's 1210 WPHT. Thought I'd just tell you really quick. This is um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles away. Pretty cool to get that just by going quickly. So the way the circuit works is it kind of has like an analog sounding feel, even though that uh, signal comes in and out. As you can hear, it's not as stepped or as uh, enunciated on the steps as some of the DSP radios. I'm going to go with the top of the dial. My Margaret thousand watt clear channel voice of Eastern Iowa. News Talk 1540 KXEL. Rodney's Kitchen in Waterloo is open for takeout for both lunch and dinner. Treat your family to incredible. <laughs> Music there, 1610 CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. I think this is right at the top. Let's see. Yep, 1700. So you know it can go over the top of the dial. That's 1700 KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, which is about, uh, I forget, 280 miles. Not bad. All right, so let's do some final thoughts and end the video. So the Prunus, J777. It is a pretty decent pocket radio. Um, highlights, good sounding speaker. This is actually in person, sounds amazing. Headphones, good experience. Um, excellent FM reception. Um, definitely a fun tuning radio. Uh, definitely usable. One thing I wish it had actually is a carry strap um, to hang it somewhere. It's one thing I noticed it's missing. Uh, maybe they'll add that in the future. Um, Prunus, if you're listening, um, 
you don't need necessarily add the headphones because most people like they're very picky about headphones. I would say add a carry strap to this radio. Maybe if you can do it, I don't think you can do a longer antenna here. That would make a difference, even better if you could make it longer, but I don't think you'll be able to. Uh, it's still a micro-sized radio. Maybe a tuning indicator um, versus power. That'd be kind of interesting. And maybe uh, polish up the AGC circuit on the medium wave. It's just something to think about, but not too bad overall. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, sign of quality. You got nice rounded corners. Everything feels good. There's no sharp edges anywhere. You know, battery compartment there with the door that's attached. Um, so overall for $14.99, links below, definitely worthy pickup. Um, gets my recommendation for a fun pocket radio. All right, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video of the Prunus J777. If you did, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like the brand Prunus, hit subscribe at the bell icon. I think I'll have a playlist here at the end of Prunus Radio so you can check them out. Um, they have some surprises. They, the, uh, the J125, I really like. FM stereo on that thing is amazing if you need an FM stereo radio. Definitely check that one out. And of course, three, comment below. You think about the J777 for 15 bucks. Do you think it represents a decent value? Um, I think it does. I think it competes well with the current offerings out there. So there you go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.